Greetings and welcome to the latest episode of Preserve the 80s. It has been a while since I last made one. Uh, still dealing with some health issues. As you can see, I'm down some weight. Good thing is, at least now I can skydive because I'm under 200, which is the weight requirement in this state for skydiving. But with that out of the way, I went to Big Lots this morning, the same one where the Pizza Hut smirk incident occurred for those who have heard of it. And I saw some interesting snacks there. I wasn't originally planning on making a video today, so I already ate some of them. I'm supposed to be laying off the burgers and the snacks and the enjoyable things in life, but I can only follow doctor's orders so much when it comes to that. And that is why, even though I can't have a regular burger right now, a gummy burger will enter my life. And I have not shrunk in terms of height. I have an ironing board on top of my table. It was the only way to get these items to fit in frame. It is Raindrops brand. Made in North Miami. 1801 Northeast 123rd Street, Suite 313. And there are lots of gummies in one involved in this. There's the bun they have, which represents, uh, well, it represents the bun. Then there are some red gummy bear type thing, which are, it says cheese and sauce. We don't do cheese on this channel. If you've ever seen an episode before, you know the cheese is not a part of the plan. So we'll just call it special sauce. Uh, five best candy bites, which represent the burger patty. Four candy salad pieces are supposed to be like pickles. And one out of three candy topping, I guess, for lettuce, tomato, or onions. As you can view all that here that I just expounded upon. We also have these Mallow Cups, which are a classic candy that everybody loves who remembers them. And because of jaw issues, I'm not supposed to chew gum, but there is this uh, Beeman's Birch Beer flavored gum. Blackjack. Fun fact about Blackjack chewing gum. Ed Gein was chewing it during his first trial in 1957. So without any further ado, See, it's served on kind of like a domed plate. I've never eaten anything off of a domed plate in real life. I just don't have that fancy of a lifestyle. But there's no bottom bun, as you can see, which is part of why they did this. Not all the glitters is gold. And we can see the layers of this. Uh, the meat as, I mean, the bun as discussed. The special sauce, we're not going to call that cheese lettuce, pickles, and the meat and such. So it's, well, there's no lower roll, as I already stated, but let's just see how this is with all the flavors together. I did not like that anywhere near as much as I thought I would. It kind of hurts the teeth. And uh, it's a tough chew. I don't know if taking an element by itself might taste better. I don't know if you hear me chewing. I was also at Big Lots this morning because I was sent to get some creamer. I take my coffee black, but not everybody does. So I was going to get that, and I really didn't want to touch it because I don't uh, like to touch dairy products. And one of the workers saw me and seemed to feel bad for me and asked if I needed some help. And I asked, well, could you please carry this to the register for me since I was right across from it. And they obliged, so that was nice of them. And then the cashier gave me a bag to put it in so I didn't have to touch it. I'd like to pay them back someday. I'm not really sure how. Thinking of ideas, but... Well... Outside of maybe being a mentor in a positive way, I hope. Maybe I could help them with homework or give brotherly advice, something like that. But uh, outside of that, I'm not sure how I could pay them back. And as I stated, there are also some mallow cups here. 
part of the old fashioned charm of these candies comes from the fact that they have these little inserts. Well, let me get the metal cups off so you can see them. You can save up points to get t shirts and things. Uh, this is actually different than the one that's usually there. Don't know how well you can read that. But they used to have play money in here up until this time. I mean, you get like nickels, dimes, and stuff back when you could buy candy from that much. Kind of brings you back to a more simple time. I'm still a bit sore from that endoscopy. The doctor really shoved that camera down my throat, so I'm gonna chew carefully here. Simplicity at its best, no complaints. Now I'm already pressing my luck by uh, chewing in this. I'm really not supposed to do much excessive chewing, but I can still enjoy the smell of the gum. You may be unfamiliar with birch beer if you're not from the Northeast. It's one of the very few things this region has going for it where you can, uh, well, I don't really know how else to describe it other than that it's just a soda that tastes good. If you don't have birch trees around, it's tough to describe, but if you do, snap a branch, smell the branch, give it a little taste, and imagine, and so, imagine that in soda form when you have birch beer. The demons, birch beer gum complete with zigzag lines and all that. Sure does smell good. We have uh, this blackjack gum. It's not uh, real licorice. I don't think there's there's licorice fra flavoring, but uh, according to the ingredient list, there is well, ac there actually is licorice extract. So it's uh, not just pretend. It's, uh, there's really some licorice in here. It smells good. Reminds me of like a black gumdrop or perhaps uh, the purple chocolates piece. Chuckles are another good candy. I think I featured them in some previous episodes, but uh, I don't have any on me right now. See, they didn't leave the pickles off this double cheeseburger. Back to go. As you may have noticed, uh, the lighting is better than usual. I had a bit of help with that, so it's not quite as uh, unsightly as most of my videos. And I'm going to round things out today by showing you how to make an orange Julius at home. It's an enjoyable beverage and you can make them cheaply at home for a low price if you simply have a blender. And uh, that is what we will do now. And now as promised, we will get to the in-home orange Julius recipe. It's pretty simple to do. You just need uh, one cup of ice. Earth Balance Organic. It doesn't really have to be that way, it's just you need a cup of ice, can be cubic crushed. You don't have to have the vegan porkless bites either. Surprisingly, orange juice is not the main ingredient. I'm just gonna add a little of that. Your lead actor in this is gonna be some pineapple juice. This is dull pineapple juice, and we'll just pour this in here.
And before I blend this all together, I want to mention a 1987 commercial for Dole Pineapple Juice. It's actually Pineapple Juice and a few other juice blends starring Kenny Rogers. It's rumored that Kenny Rogers didn't want to do the commercial and he hated the song. And some people on YouTube had some bad things to say about it, but that's blasphemy because it's one of my top five commercials of all time, I would say. And it states that the perfect vacation from orange juice is Dole. And here's that commercial now. I've got a feeling today's the day. Wanna get going in a different way. The perfect vacation from orange juice is Dole. The perfect vacation from orange juice is Dole. Only Dole blends fresh cut pineapple taste with other luscious fruits into four unique juices. Pineapple orange, pineapple grapefruit, pine orange banana, and pure pineapple. I hope you feel richer having seen that. So now we will blend this. I don't know if you can see the blender. I was trying to get the angles right measuring things. It's supposed to be 13 inches off, but it's more like 15, so it's not all showing, but just give it a little turn. Really doesn't take too long at all. But you may want to watch out because there's probably going to be a little bit of pineapple and orange and ice froth stuck to the blender, to the blades. So you just want to be careful when you take that off. This is called the lip. You screw it on. It's meant to make it more comfortable if you're just going to drink it straight out of this like I'm going to do since I didn't think to bring a glass. But I do have a spoon if maybe that's more civilized, if that's what you prefer to see. But normally you don't drink an orange juice with a spoon. Typically you, you have either a straw or you just drink it down straight. But... Got my shirt a bit. Don't really want to walk around with Jeff Stacy stains, but uh, not too bad on the whole. As you can see it has the consistency of an orange juice. No dairy involved. Just blended ice, orange juice, and the pineapple juice. And I seem to have picked up a list, but I don't know where that came from. I hope that goes away. It's annoying. Cool. And uh, I realize it doesn't exactly look like a restaurant in here, but it's still a satisfying drink. So I will just conclude by saying a few things. If you have a big lots nearby, go there. There are plenty of obscure snacks, several of which I didn't mention in this video. They even have these big blue jars of cotton candy balls. They look like cheese balls, but they're cotton candy. And those are pretty good. And uh, they have Sociables crackers. I don't like them, but if you do, that's one of the last places you can still find them. Now you know how to make an orange juice at home, so I hope you'll do that. Uh, remember, Beeman's for birch beer. Blackjack for licorice, licorice flavored gum. Mallow cups if you want to turn back the clock and just experience a better time. And that's really... All I have left to say to you today, pretty weird cut.